Hello friends, today we are going to start a session for OTBI, which is Oracle Trans Transactional Business Intelligence. So this is a reporting tool of Fusion Cloud application. So let's start with, so basically this is the uh, reporting content we can just define uh, uh, analysis and define a report, basic reports and uh, the complex report also we can define by using these two. So earlier we need the, uh, in EBS, we need the technical help to define a complex report. But now we can define drag and drop and uh, we can use the, uh, the existing table structures and only you need to just drag and drop and you can define your desired report for any module by using this OTBI and uh, BI tool, right? So this is nothing, this is a, a reporting tool and uh, integration with the Fusion application and embedded with the OTBI in, uh, in Fusion application. If you are taking the subscription uh, of Fusion application, for your enterprise or organization. So it is embedded and you need not to take any separate license for uh, OTBI reporting tool and uh, other tools like OPI rules. So uh, in like in EBS for discoverer or for BI publisher, we need to uh, take the warehouse, uh, data warehouse licensing and separate, we need to spend some money on that for the licensing. So there's no need to spend extra money or uh, on the these reporting tools. So this is a, a embedded tool, OTBI and Fusion application. So, so what is it? On the, uh, this is a tool uh, by using this, we can uh, define a report and on the real time, data, right? And this is a self-service and user reporting tool for Fusion application. Seamlessly integrated with the uh, Fusion application support, Fusion extensions as well. So you can extend and you can just uh, define your uh, reports and uh, their, uh, their presentation in the graphically mode. And, uh, and simultaneously you just uh, uh, put all these stuff like data and graphical representation on the same page. So this is the very uh, beauty of this tool, right? So the key value of this proposition of OTBI features, uh, this is real-time business intelligence. There's no, no latency, like uh, you can just drag and drop and you can run the report and uh, before publishing the report, you can uh, take a, a view, define a view and take a review of the report before saving the report you can take a look of the output of that, right? So no persistent data store. Like other other than OLTB, this is this is a different one. So you need not to just store the uh, separately the data storage and also that would take us some time to uh, to fetch the data from the backend uh, from the tables. So you can also uh, define the ad hoc uh, analysis using OBI. EE platform. This is nothing, this is a Oracle Business Intelligence Enterprise Edition. So by using this tool also, you can define the complex report and add all reports analysis and all, right? So this is completely easy to use, like a rich library of delivered content. Like there, there are a lot of uh, tables, uh, database in the directory and you can just fetch the, that particular table structure and define your reports, right? And uh, folder structure similar to Fusion apps that already been defined in the system. Pre-built calculated uh, measures. So already we have uh, some calculated measures. Uh, by using that, you can just uh, uh, define your report and take, take a look of the output, all the stuffs. And minimal configuration. So by doing the minimal configuration, you can take the uh, uh, rich output of the reports, right? And you also just define the single sign-on and attach, uh, sign the, uh, by after defining the analysis or report. 
you can assign that report or analysis to the particular role, right? Or user, you can define on the same page. Also, you can archive the report on the same instance. And if you want to move a, a particular report from one, one instance to another in an instance, like in test instance, you already been defined one report and tested the report and uh, you want to move to another instance, what you need to do, you need to archive the report and then uh, unarchive on the target instance, right? Highly interactive, this is the uh, highly interactive framework like uh, utilize best in class OBI features like alerts, action framework and all you can see it here and consistent semantic model like trees, hierarchies populated to the BI from Fusion applications. So this is the integration between Fusion applications and the BI tool. So we can see the data uh, in tree form or hierarchy form, right? And unified definition of key entities like customer invoice, date, etc. You can unify it by defining the report or analysis on the basis of uh, these unified definition objects like customer invoice, right? And start with the common dimensions. So you can start with the common dimensions, right? OTBI uh, already been uh, have discussed. So this is a basically uh, architecture of BI, Fusion Embedded Analytics. We can see real time reporting OTBI because on the basis of real time data, we can just generate the reports. So also we have the advanced analytics for the complex reports as well. And it's completely a BI cemented model, which is no lab queries like OBIA data warehouse, where from where the data is just, uh, you can just pull out or fetch. Real time queries, we can BI view objects. And on that basis, we can fetch the real-time queries of the objects. So Fusion application transitional data is basically just uh, stored in the database of the application. So content something like 300 plus embedded analytics, we can see in OTBI and 3000 plus report, 4000 matrices, OTBI cover 35 plus Fusion products. So this is very good option and features of Fusion application. BI common cemented that as you, you are able to see support highly aggregated trending and real time transition listing from a single query model. So you can define the data model and where we can define the query and uh, we can fetch the data as per our need. And by view objects like uh, there are single source of truth of uh, BI business intelligence from where we can just uh, on the single source, like from the supplier itself, we can calculate the, uh, like uh, the supplier detail report we can, or analysis we can define. Represent fact and dimensions. So uh, it's represent fact by, by defining the report and the graphically output we can select at the time of uh, defining the analysis or report. Implement fusion data and security. Also we can, uh, by assigning the tools to the particular user, uh, we, are, we can secure the data. And the multi-language support. So we have the multi-language and we can uh, take the output in the multiple formats like PDF, X, uh, TXT format or uh, Excel format. So there are a number of formats uh, that that was very uh, difficult to take the in the EBS. Now in the Fusion application, we have the uh, good options. So we can take the, in the multiple type of formats output. So let's start with this and uh, let me move to the system, login as a user. Let's see how we can define the analysis of OTBI using this tool. Okay, go to navigator, go to tools and select reports and analytics. So here, this is a page for the reports analytics. There's a icon or create 
we can create a report or the bi reports or analysis we can create by using this option so here we have the subject areas so there are a lot of subject areas you can see so i'm going to just start with the tables to define my analysis on the basis of the table invoice transaction real time data so i have selected it click on continue so subject area it will show the subject area with the you can select the columns here because what we are doing we are doing the uh, the col column selection by selecting out of a selected subject area so i want the first column like business unit name right here it is so i need to select it and click on add on the right arrow right and next i want to select the primary ledger status i need to select default currency so other folders in the subject area i can see so i can take the any one of them as per our need liability account if i want the liability account to be shown in the report so i need to select the liability account so account description or account type you can take chart of account you can take any one of them so i am selecting the chart of account so this is how i can select the columns so after selecting the column i need to click on next so this is the uh, selected view so i need to give the name of my view so i am giving the asm tables okay so here uh, i need to select the what type of format like in the table uh, form i i want to take the uh, the preview in the summary table pivot or summary pivot i can take so i am select table option so i want also i can add the graphical representation also bar graph line graph or any kind of graph you can take so i am taking a pie chart so you can select the layout so table above the graph table below the graph so i want the table above the graph so already been selected so no need to select the layout now click on next one more thing we can take the preview here by selecting here right so i can i can take the preview of that it is not showing my pay some data is not available in this view let me go back to select another one all right all right all right uh looks like take some time let me go back to next is little bit slow okay so as per our uh, selected columns i can see the business unit name primary ledger is it active or inactive default currency if it's uh, defined at the table level default currency so it will show here so chart of account name also i can see so i need to go to next here uh, on the edit table like i can change the prompt as well right so from that means uh, i can move the the sequencing of this right i can move the below uh, the prime layer on the top right on the below of the prime layer i can just put the business unit so you can same time immediately you can take uh, take the uh, the changes here the column already been swapped right so additional layout you can just move uh, columns uh, selected columns from left to right or right to left as well so here also we have the additional one so i need to select the uh, any column as well so then we can move the column section by like <clears throat> we can uh, move the column prompt for ex uh, and excluded also we can also exclude include the column as well 
right? So suppose uh, I don't want this column. So oops. Just must give me option. So this is the output of the report that you can take the look like interactive preview. You can see here and click on next. Now, uh, click on next. Here also you can just uh, sort the filter Right, you can sort by basic business business unit, right? Ascending or descending. So it would take some. If, if we, as we have only two options here, like the SM and Australia, so no more than this. So we can't send as like. We can change the order. Currently, we can't change, as you can see. All right. So this is how we can sort the data or columns. Of the table. You can highlight and then click on next. Here you can just select and save your uh, analysis on the respective folder. Right? So, PSM CP analysis. See, I'm just checking it in the description. So my folder, uh, like we have two folders for to save our data, right? Your our analysis or report. So if you want to, if you will store or save your uh, analysis here in my folder, so nobody can see uh, except you. You uh, anybody else can't see your uh, reports and analysis. If you want to share. If you will save here and then uh, the role will, uh, the person who has the role, then that person can take a look, right, in share folder. So, but in share folder also, you need to just uh, keep in your mind, you need to save the any analysis in custom forward folder, because if you will save in another folder, so if, if any patch or any upgrade will happen, so in that case, uh, the everything will be vanished that you have defined, right? So you, what you need to do, you need to save here in any folder, right? So I'm just saving it into custom folder. GRC. And just submit it. So confirmation got analysis saved, right? How you can uh, take a look of your analysis, you go just click on browse catalog, go to share folder. Go to custom. So here you can see your report already been defined. So this is how we can define and uh, we have the option of archive and archive that uh, we were talking about. Uh, here we can uh, archive like a zip and unzip. You can archive the uh, your folder or your defined report analysis and then you need to unarchive to the target instance, right? So this is how we can define it and uh, uh, OTBI analysis. And hope you will just like this video and uh, thanks for watching.